Budweiser presents Speaker TV. Welcome to Speaker TV, the show that dresses you in a bunny costume and makes you touch yourself. I'm Joey from Doll Squad, and you're watching Speaker TV. that you like? Crap. Do you like crap? Yeah. Do you like his music or do you like him? I like his music. Is he a good footballer though? Oh yeah, he's alright. They're a good hard team this year, the Megahertz. Fucking They're doing all solid. They've got the dynamic duo as all, well, the, the Pang and the man I call the Hulk in the ruck, which is pretty hard two guys to stop. It's the best day ever, you know. What's going on with the bat at the moment? Me and Jan both got kids, so we don't... You can't do heaps. I, I'm doing a lot of solo shows, but because of Bubby, I'm sort of going away on weekends. Can't really be away from home for months on end, you know? But um, we, we're talking about doing a record for our, our 21st anniversary, which is coming up. We've been around for nearly... I mean, you know, by the time we make a record, it'll be 21 years, so we thought, if you, get, if you turn 21, you've got to have a 21st birthday, you know? It's nice to be a... A successful band in Australia and be supported, yeah. you know. So in terms of the whole scene, it's just amazing. You can see, if you go to a festival like Homebake or something, it's all Australian, and there's like 20,000 people there, you know. Yeah. So it's it's a healthy scene, but the grassroots of that is really like, you know, what we're doing right here. Absolutely. With the, with the stations and with the bands and musicians and the crowds that turn up. From my perspective, where we came from, when we started, it was only those uh, Triple M, PBS, whatever, play your stuff. So the, the, to end up on fucking Triple M and mainstream radio is awesome, but you, you kind of never forget you get that where you that's came from, well, yeah. but, or, but that it's still cool stuff. You still listen to those stations all the time. It's not like you're just listening to them because oh, that's they used to play you. They still do, and they're, they're good shit. And it's, it's amazing that it's still mainly volunteers that run those stations. And um, I think that's one of the things why, because the grassroots level of music and it's alternative music in Australia is so well supported. I've been involved doing the commentary along with Tony Biggs from Triple R and Hugo T. Armstrong from PBS. Uh, almost since there was ever a Community Cup, from, from the very first one it was in this format with the uh, radio station team, the Megahertz, against the... Uh, the music, music industry people, the Rock Dogs. The very, very first one goes back to the early 90s, which was before this format. It was the Tote Hotel versus the Espy. But uh, this version's been going, roughly speaking, about 10, 12 years, something like that. Who are you actually really going for? Uh, I'm a broadcast journalist in this situation, and I like to think that football is the only winner. Uh... Um, in the program, there's an award for the most stylish player who do you think that actually is? I like the guy with the afro. I'm always going to go for the white guy with the afro. The guys who are playing real well for the mega hits could get tired, but I think the Rock Dogs, I noticed they were drinking at half time. I don't think they're coming back. Actually, I think I saw a few having some cigarettes as well. Oh, yeah, well, you've got to train. You know, training food is important. We probably should have an official cigarette of the uh, competition, but no, I, I, I think the mega hits will probably hold on there. From the megahertz. How did you guys get roped into it? What do you do at PBS or Triple R? Uh, I do a radio show on Triple R, uh, bullying the jukebox, a uh, Sunday night punk show. So nice. So you're into these guys? Uh, yeah, they're not bad. Too yep. old? So they're, they're, they're the rock dogs, so. And what are you doing? I work in the sales department for PBS. I had a couple of touches early. I uh, wouldn't mind getting a bit more game time, but, but you know, it's, we've got a big bench and we've got to give everyone a kick and. Um, I think uh, so far we're doing well, we're right on the scoreboard, so that's the main thing. This is the most current lineup. we've been around for about two years. So um, yeah, we've been around for a long time, we had a lot of CDs out, had a lot of stuff out and um, we've just released, we're just about to release a new album that's been recorded um, and it's been produced by Steve Lucas. I'm interviewing Mr Steve uh, Lucas from X. Steve, tell me about your band. My band's called X. 
and we, we, we travel about the country playing music and making fools of ourselves publicly. Just an album for the girls, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I sort of manage them now, um, and just looking for a label, so anyone out here want to uh, sign up the girls, if you see this, you just contact me, and um, we'll talk serious money. Yeah, you just get me on MySpace, Steve Lucas, MySpace. You can Google me. I'm everywhere. This is the Mega Horns, and you're watching Speaker TV. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're called the Mega Horns, and we're myspacecom slash Horns. Thank you.